Dun, 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 dun. I'm Tony Fast, and my family's been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Morning! We got a lot of hay loaded up after I raked some hay this morning. And uh, this guy's got a sweet truck. Check it out. Finally, not a plastic freight liner. So get the grain cart. We're using quad this year because we'll be bailing some straw with the uh, 370. So I gotta get used to the difference between power shift and CVT because same control lever, different functions. With 370, this is the go faster, go slower propulsion lever with throttles here. And this one is throttle with gear shift buttons. Not to be confusing or anything. So upgrades for our cart that we got this year is we are going to the U Harvest Pro, which makes everything run ISO. So rather than having to screen from a cart in the cab plus the tractor monitor, now this will all be showing on the one monitor. This is available for any cart that uh, runs Digistar load cells. So if you want to upgrade your older cart to run just on the newer tractor monitors, you can do that. We're also adding a moisture tester. So this is the new door for the bottom of the auger, the tester that will go in there. And all the hardware we need. And the quick cabling, so let's start hooking it up. So one thing on the very first, the tongue twister, told me to do is make sure I get the calibration numbers for each of the load cells. Uh, wrote down, whatever, so I know when to enter them into the 700 in the, tr in the tractor cab. So I'm gonna go through this, get all those, uh, figured out and then we will be done with this. We'll be eliminating this, all these cables, it's all gonna be gone. That's a nice thing about the system. So this is the old junction box that runs all the load cells into one point for the monitor. So we're gonna mount this one, switch everything over, and then this is gonna to run to the node that'll run to the cab. Harness goes into that, so let's swap all these out. Got the Raven node hooked up. Raven's electronics behind all this. Uh, that's ran up there. It's hooked up to that uh, junction box on the back side. I do need to hook up this moisture cord yet. I replace this door with the moisture and then. It's done. Just gotta set it up in the monitor then. Pretty pretty straightforward. Hey, look at there. Moisture sensor's installed. We'll pull that door off now and then we'll switch the hardware onto the door. The new door. This door. Now the moment of truth. Go to harvest. Switch this to VT, I believe it's called. And... Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Gotta think about it for a minute. You got a present from Santa Claus? You got a present from Santa Claus. Made in Taiwan. Whoa! 
Hey, a truck door latch. That's for a semi. You can put that on the table for me, would you? Okay. And we'll put it in tomorrow. All right, it wants grain cart capacity in cubic meters. Whew, what would that be? Guess I'll have to figure out what cubic meters is in bushels. Hey Siri, we'll ask her. How many cubic meters are in 1300 bushels? 1300 US bushels is equivalent to about 45.8 cubic meters. So we'll call it 46. Thanks, Siri. I think think we're good. Now what's it gonna tell me? Dun 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 Oh Lucky there. Well the machines are ready to go except for lettering. Numbering. Lettering? Numbers. They're numbers, right? Numbering. Yeah, they're numbers. Numbering. Putting uh, numbers on the combine so that we know which combine the grand card's supposed to go to and whatnot. And since they're identical machines from the outside, then we know which combine's which. We've already got number two numbered here. He's putting number one stickers on that machine. Do them on the headers and the header trailers too. But just like that. Does it look sharp? Good work, Cole. Like the lettering, Num numbering. This is where it gets expensive. I'm guessing he wants to check. Grand cart's ready to go. The only thing that we need to get here for that is a cable for our gate indicator. It uh, froze up when we were hauling those grain bags last year and is all like really cute and broken and slinkied, whatever you want to say. So, Kevin is uh, doing something with the tractor though. We have a little bit of a stinky cab from a dead mouse under the seat. So he's gonna pull that seat off, get the fan pulled out, and then we'll see where that's at, vacuum it out, spray some bleach water in there, and it'll be good to go. Oh yeah, look at him. <laughs> hey buddy, like, you okay? Is that in flat? Oh, oh something went. <laughs> Yahtzee. Dehydrated. Whew, stinky. So we got a little bleach water. And why do we have bleach water, must you ask? Because this happens every year. No matter how we seal it up, we get mice in there. I think that's probably plenty. Just stick that fan back down in there. We'll run it for a little bit to make sure the odor's gone out of the dash. That was a little bit of a bugger to get out. He's down in there? He's way he like crawl, up in here. Like somehow crawl either like through the vents there or in the, through the fan somehow and then they get stuck down in there. Oh. You can't get out and they die. Vicious cycle. <laughs> Stink, a little bleach. <laughs> Still smells a little mousy but more bleachy. <laughs> Mickey Mouse is gone. Kevin just finishing up a couple uh, greasing things on cart and whatever. I got my two-way clip, hang my two-way mic. Headers off, we're ready to move here in a minute. Go try cutting some peas. Let 2020 harvest begin. Well, I checked everything else to make sure they had fuel, but I forgot to check the vehicle I was driving. And the light came on like way back there, but thank God the grain bins are right there. I made it. Time to undo it, and get it off, and put it on the combine. Go try it. See what it's like. They sure look ready from a distance. Well, we just did a little test cut. Got the machine set pretty good. Got the GPS working. Here comes the grain cart. We're gonna do a moisture test and uh, calibrate that because it says we got 9.2 average moisture. We got a few green and some uh, not completely dried down peas in there. So we'll get that all figured out and uh, 
Time her down, I think. Still going in the green cart. Whoop, whoop. Okay, well, we'll go calibrate then. Just pulled the Zimmerman soft start. Got everything checked out, everything's working, I think. Make some adjustments in the morning if we need to. We're gonna go dump the grain cart. We'll make see if that thing's all working right. It's logging automatically when you know, start on loading. Kevin's uh, getting the truck tarp opened up and uh, we'll go see how this all works. Mm -hmm. 